And I don't know what to do with it. I got love up in my rocket and I don't know what to do with it. Hi, I'm probably getting a DMCA for this, but the song is really good. I don't know all the lyrics either though. Hi there, I'm painting the set players for you all um chill cozy paint stream where i can just hang out with you all when you're not inside of me don't know what to do with it do with it and I don't know what to do with it. Bum bum bum, do with it. I start early so that way I can get people to flood in to the Twitch channel. Today's a charity stream too. Oh wait. Also, this is a charity stream. Please come donate, donate, or just vibe if you can. Ah! Ew! I can hear myself. All right, so. As things go for when you leave my body. Yeah, okay. So Rich Brian followed me onto TikTok. Oh wait, no, Twitter. Which is kind of insane to me. So if you don't know this about me, don't tell don't tell Brian. But I'm like a very big fan of Rich Brian. And I've been going to 88 Rising concerts since 2017. And so, I used to follow him on Vine. Um, I had a crush on him at one point also. But we're not going to talk about it a whole lot because he has a girlfriend now and I respect their relationship and wish them nothing but the best. Um, but I think he's awesome. And I really love his art and his music. Just respect him a lot as an artist. <laughs> and I was very stoked when I saw he followed me on Twitter. I was very excited. Who has not had a crush on him, TBH? I think, I don't know. Not everybody's going to be attracted to the same people. I had a crush on him. When I went to see him in San Francisco when he came to play live, I was like... <laughs> okay. Let's play some... So, okay. Maya canceled for crushing on Rich Brian while he's in a relationship, not clickbait. No, no, absolutely not. Okay, 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 okay. So, as Sundays go, today we're donating money to Know Your Rights Camp, which is a foundation and organization that's goal is to empower the black and brown community to understand where their rights lie and how to increase their freedom within the United States. So, uh, if you can't donate, um, this is where you can and contribute with your channel points. So I will be keeping track of MXM Hydrate requests for the next five minutes, um, and I will donate five dollars on your behalf for every MXM Hydrate that is put into the queue. So, yeah. All right, we got one, two. They're coming in. Oh man. Here we go. 11 requests, $55 already. Oh my God, you guys have been saving up. Okay, I don't even know where to begin. I'm just gonna let them roll in. You got five whole minutes, so it's quite some time. We already have, four, we already have 45 requests. Oh my God. I didn't do them last Sunday, so I guess this makes a lot of sense. Holy shit. 40, 40, 54, 54 requests and we're not even done with the first minute. I'm going broke today. That's fine. It's for a good cause. I don't even mind. 
We have been saving my dude. Yeah, makes sense. The Subnautica streams are also rather large, so long, and so a lot of people can get a lot of a lot of points from those. Um, oh man, 64 requests. And we're not even done with our first minute still. 66 requests. 67. Oh my god. Jesus, we're gonna make some hydrate. Thank god I'm not actually needing to hydrate myself. That would be insane. 68 requests. Woo woo. What's going on? So if you don't have money to donate, this is the way that I hopefully can contribute on your behalf. If you are somebody who wants to help out with the cause that we're raising money for today, which is the Know Your Rights camp um, here. Uh, but it basically, if you submit with your channel points and MXM Hydrate request, I will donate $5 on behalf of you. James, thank you for donating to, oh my gosh, you donated to Tiltify Campaign. Thank you for being an amazing person. Today's been quite a rough day, but your streams have always made me happy. I love you so much. I love you too, and I hope that today is better for you. Oh my god. I think that my, my, um, I don't know. I'm hoping that my Tiltify, uh, oh goodness alerts are going off today because I set them up last night and I think I fixed whatever the issue was. Um, I guess we'll see. Uh, I don't know. It didn't show up. Hmm. It's not working, but I'll keep track. I can now see it on my history. You look very pretty today. Thanks, Bella. All right. We have 77 requests and we have three more minutes to go. Three more minutes on the clock. All right. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. That's fine. Donation goal. Do, 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 do. Let me double check my Streamlabs settings as people roll in with these hydrates. Streamlabs. Do, 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 do. We're far past the goal with MXM Hydrate. I know. It's kind of how we set it up, I would say, most of the time. Um, Tiltify. Goal settings. Yeah, nothing's showing up, which is very odd, but that's okay. We have 81 requests now for MXM Hydrate. We have still two more minutes. Um, Sorry, I'm I'm troubleshooting as you all sit there. Does copyright matter when it's your own song? They still mute my stream, even though it's me. So I don't play my own music very often anymore. Because also I think it's easier for me to pay attention when lo-fi is playing. It's just easier. Do campaign. Doodle Tate, thank you for donating. My, you're the best. You're the best. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So my thingy's not working, so I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, no. Here we go. We're putting the donos at the top, though. These are regular donations, so I'm just... I feel like they... I feel like people who donate to me deserve to... Oh! Uh! What just happened? Hold on. I think I know what's going on here. Widgets. Where's my alert box? Did you see that? It was like a zombie running. What the hell? What the hell? Animation media. Save. Done. <gasps> oh my god! I see the donations for Tiltify, but they're not coming through for some reason. Let me see. Wait, it's ugly, but it worked. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you guys so much for your Tiltify donations. I have to thank Guilty as Charmed. You donated $20 to Tiltify, so thank you so much. Jason, you donated $5. Thank you. Good afternoon. Happy to contribute what I can. On the less important note, the matcha recipe was sweet. Honey worked really well. Yay, I'm glad. And then $20 donation from I Like Food. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're done with our MXM hydrates for the hour, uh, for the five minutes. Um, we reached 84 requests, so I'm going to complete all of these and write that number down here. Let's see, 84 times five. Sorry, I'm really bad at math. Oh my God, wait, oh goodness. 
Wait, this is so cool. It's working now. John Riley, thank you for donating $5. I can only donate five bucks because I have to eat later, but I, oh my God, you're so fine. I love your music and what you stand for so much. Thank you for using your platform to educate and stand up for the injustice of the world. You're so welcome. It is my pleasure. I think I repeated some of those, um, those alerts. I'm figuring this out. I'm figuring it out. Let me see. Wait, does it show up now? Um, one second. No, it still doesn't show up, but it's okay. As long as, uh, it's okay. Ah! My whole streaming setup is just bugging out right now. Okay, there we go. There we go. I don't know what's happening. I just messed up everything. A clear 84 times five. I have to donate $420, so I guess that's a pog. Um... Let's see here. We already reached $64 with your kind donations. Kuro, thank you so much for your $5 dono. You're so pretty and your music is so soothing. Me and my friends love you. I wish I could use more, use MX and Hydrate, but I don't have enough points. Oh, you're so fine, that's okay. Um, you're okay, that's okay. Crayhack, thank you for 100 bit cheer. Okay, wait, so let me fix this because I really want to get this sorted out before I start painting. Um, Tiltify donations. It's an ugly setup currently. I don't like the way that it looks. I'm going to fix it. I have to make it a nicer color. Whoa, weird. It just echoed. Oopsie. Done. All right, Tiltify donations should be prettier now, I think. I think. That's the goal, at least. Change GIF, easy GIF resize. <laughs> I think I can use this one, done. All right, okay, okay, okay. I think we're good. Nice cut, thank you. I'm glad you like it. All right, okay, alerts go burr. Um, Maya go paint now. So let me donate. So we have reached $420, donate $420. Um, the comments, Toonies Rise Up. I say that on every donation. <gasps> I just, okay, see? Now it looks prettier. It looks nicer now. Kuro, thank you again. Um, Why can't I use my PayPal? Return to campaign. Okay, campaign. Oh, wait, one second. I think I have weird settings set up. Oh, man, this is so stressful. View campaign. Edit campaign. Um, Tiltify. Thank you so much for your cheer. Thanks for cheer. Oh, okay. I get it now. You're not gonna see my credit card information, but Know Your Rights only takes card. So if that's of, of interest to anybody, uh, that is how it works. The Italian BMT, thank you for your dono. Called out of work sick today, so I'm glad I can watch the stream while I stay high, I'm hydrated. I hope you feel better. Yeah, thanks for your $5 dono, puddle. Puddle. Okay, I'm gonna donate with my credit card. Which you can't see because it's I'm being sneaky. Da 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 Two bros chilling in the hot tub, sitting five feet apart because they're not gay. $499! We reached $499. I sound softer. Um, I can turn myself up. I just have like a red alert thing that shows up when I talk too loud, so I was a little bit, a little bit nervous. 
now our now our donation things are coming through on time. Um, I'm thanking people preemptively is how it's working. Okay, uh, yeah, now we can just hang out and chill with you all. All requests. Yeah, so, okay, here's what I'm doing today. I also have a lot of milk tea here. Thank you to everybody who subbed. Yo, yo, hey. All right, so let's just open this up. This is what I'm painting today. Um, I'm in charge of painting. 10 cassette players for random people who bought the cassette from my merch store. So 10 random people are receiving um, a painted cassette player by me. All she drinks is milk tea. Yeah, you're right. You're 100% correct. 69% hype train and 420 hydrate dollars. Keck W. Sounds safe for work. Um, this is what they look like. Unboxing time. Um, yeah, this is what they look like. You get headphones with them, and they look like this. So, the speaker's on the front. I don't have a plan for these. I'm not sure how I'm going to- Ayo, hey, let's go! That's the thing! Ayo! Hey, that's my dono! Let's go. Um, but I don't have a plan for these. I guess I'm just gonna kind of figure that out. Um, as I go. I also have to be very careful because um, I have to repackage all of them by myself at the end of this. So let me see. I almost wonder if I should paint part of the boxes. I might take a Sharpie and draw on those too. MXM Tune donated to MXM Tune Charity Link Pog. What's, what's a cassette? So a cassette is like a tape player or a tape. So that's crazy to me that people didn't listen to cassettes. But the cool thing about these ones is that they have radios built in. So I'm plugging this thing. If you buy a cassette, this is what you might get. But, um, yeah. Cheese fries, thank you for donation. $10, hello my I love your music and all of your content. Keep up the great work. Cast my Asuki, I agree. And Arya, thank you for your $20 donation to the Tiltify campaign. You are a cutie and I hope you have a lovely day and find happiness. Thank you. I hope you find happiness too. But yeah, this one has, youngins don't know what cassettes are. I listen to everything everything you have to put your hand behind it i can't see it until you put the beauty tuber you know it's invisible can you see it this is the cassette player i don't know if it'll focus any closer than that but it has a radio built into it you can start and stop and skip and do whatever you can rewind but it's pretty cool it's like a walkman you you stick it on your your thing it's like you're a modern day cowboy so yeah how much did your gaming pc cost in total oh god I saved up for a very long time for my gaming rig. Um, so I think my specific build, because I also didn't want to figure out how to build it on my own. I did spend a lot of money on it. I would say I spent like 3K on my gaming rig. Um, but yeah, I've gotten a lot of use out of it. So I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. PCs are not cheap, especially depending on the way that you build them thought 1k rig was a lot i spent a lot i will be open and honest about the fact that i spent a lot of money on my gaming rig because <laughs> i9s are also so expensive holy shit yeah i9s are very expensive um this is why she can't afford more than a mac keyboard this is yeah this is why i still use a mac keyboard um yeah okay so how do i paint this i'm not quite sure where to start like the only flat surface is here and I don't want to paint it on the back either. Like, what sort of designs would you all want on a cassette thing? Um, man, I don't know. Hmm. Huh. Because I don't want to cover up any of this information either. AMFM. So I can cover up this area. Um... Pastels, pastels, flowers, make a rainbow one. Okay, I think flowers is probably the easiest first go. I have um, white paint here, because you use a lot of white paint for everything. What color flowers are we thinking? Um, I tried to make them, I would say a lot of my painting style is very feminine, um, but I also am aware that like 
not so feminine people can buy my cassettes, so I want to make sure that I have some options too. Pink or yellow? I like yellow flowers. I like this yellow. It's a pretty yellow. And then I'm going to dab a little bit on my palette. I hope this is a chill, nice vibe for everybody today because I'm excited for this. I was excited for this the whole week. Damn. Dawn colors? Okay, we'll do a dawn themed one too. I also have gold, so I can put gold on things. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do clouds? I love painting clouds. Man, I kind of want to paint clouds first. I'm going to paint clouds first. I really like painting clouds. It makes me feel happy. All right. This is how I paint clouds. So I take some white paint. I wet my brush. I pat it down into my paint. And then I just kind of... The best part about this, I think, is that I'll be able to go around. I also have to Mod Podge these after. So that's gonna be a little bit more difficult. But I've done this before with ukuleles on my merch store. And that was a really fun project for me. So I enjoy the potential. Okay. So that's my base for my cloud. I think I might just paint over the other thing. I'm gonna do that. It just allows for more space. And yeah, there we go. I'll do a couple layers for this piece of, of cloud. Um, koi ukulele, koi ukulele, koi ukulele. Oh yeah. Lucas got the koi ukulele. I was super excited when I found that out because that was one of my favorite ones that I got to that I got to make. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me know. How is your How's your day going? Has anything exciting happened to you today? How do you? I need to make sure that I, yeah. So this is the place that you open for the battery and then to open it. I never owned it. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Put a cloud on that side. Lavender Town. Oh yeah, this is like a remix. I made my own version of the copyright free lo-fi mix because to be honest with you, there were some songs I did not like so much on the one that I was following. So I just made my own. And I'm sorry if I get focused on my painting. Normally when I paint, I would just be like watching Netflix or something. So it's different for me that I am trying to interact with the chat. An Animal Crossing themed one? Like the, um, like the pattern? I don't even know quite how to describe it. Lucas Shredding the Uke is actually the funniest thing ever because he plays it in the least correct way I've ever seen anybody play the ukulele. He like plays it upside down, which is honestly slightly impressive because I don't, I don't even, I can't play it that way and it's my job. Oh my God. Yeah, mm hmm Is that a cassette machine? It is, so I'm painting cassette players. Um, as the best that I can. I think it might be a little bit rough on, I'm gonna, I just don't wanna disappoint people with my, my painting ability, you know? Like I, I want everybody to enjoy the cassette player if they get one. I'm not like a pro painter or anything. I just enjoy painting. Okay, we have three clouds, which I feel like might be enough. I don't know. Make that little circle a sun. Ooh, I haven't thought about that. That's a kind of cool idea. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I will. All right. Okay. There's, there is 
two, two. Okay. Sweet. We have all of our clouds. I'll probably have to go back and do a couple of layers, but that's fine. Honey buns, thank you for resubbing for four months. Chihu, four months. I love you. Love you too. Um, what's in my mason jar? Okay, so this mason jar has milk tea, and this mason jar has paint water. Which one am I drinking out of? You'll never know. You will never know. Four ninety nine thousand more points until I unlock sitting there. It's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen ever. Um, yeah, it's a fun surprise. It's like a guessing game. Mm, yummy paint water. Okay, so now when the paint is still wet on the clouds, this is what I do. I'm gonna take some, oh God, I don't know what color. Let's do this one, this is a nice color. I got paint all over me, that's fun. Um, da -da -da -da. Are we gonna be able to buy them? No, so these ones are just like surprise gifts for people. If you bought a cassette on my merch store, you were entered into the possibility of getting to receive one of these so yeah this is how i color my clouds i i dab it in like a little bit of the other color and then i pat it into the shape of the cloud it's been a while since i've painted clouds though so i don't know i'm not very good at it anymore i would say Sorry if you can't see things very well. I'm just kind of going for it. And then once that dries a little bit more, I can go in with another layer of white and then paint on top of that. Yeah, if we buy one now, do we still get the chance? I think so, because I haven't sent these out yet. So whoever is in the pool for a cassette tape hasn't been entered yet because they don't even exist. <laughs> I have to make them. Yeah. So, you should be. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. Painting is so relaxing. The last time when I was working on the ukuleles, I watched like four seasons of Friends while I was working on it. Yeah. I didn't even watch Friends before. It was kind of mindless. It was a little bit enjoyable, I'll admit. All right, so this paintbrush has purple in it now, which is fine. I add some texture. Please read my last comment. I'm a slow typer, very slow, so it took me ages. I cannot see. Oh, played some sport and ooblets and watched YouTube and went to my GPAs for our grandpa's for his <laughs> GPAs. I was like, what? Roast dinner, then came home, played ACNH. I love your music, and this is my first year years that I'm watching, so hey, love you. Thanks for joining. Um, buys cassette. Which cassettes? It's just the Dawn cassette, so this will come with your Dawn cassette if you've received one. But, yeah, I'm excited for them to be sent out. Um, okay, so these clouds are coming together. I hope people like purple. It's one of my favorite colors to paint in. It would be very unfortunate if you despise the color purple. I just want to say love you and I really support your amazing work in music. Thank you. I appreciate everybody being so supportive. Purple is S tier color. I agree. So what kind of ukuleles do you play? I play um a uh, baritone ukulele actually for the most part at this point and then I play on a concert in soprano if I'm switching between anything else. Yeah. Where's my shirt from? Lucy and Yak, which is like a really great company. They're ethical and um yeah, they're awesome. Very inclusive too. Yeah. Da, 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 All right. 
Um, let's see here. Adding some more white. These clouds are kind of shitty, but it's fine. Let's see. They still look good. I don't know why. I'm just like hard on myself. I think we all tend to be that way. Oh my gosh, Crying Stardust, thank you for a $5 tilt if I don't know. Hi, I love your music and you, you so much, and I've already bought all your cassettes, so I hope whoever gets the players loves them. Also, can you say hi to my BF Carson, because I made him an MXM too soon. Hi, Carson! <laughs> thank you so much for your donation, Stardust. Hey up, kiddo. Thank you for your $5 tilt if I don't know. Sorry, can't donate more. Don't be sorry. Working very little because of the pandemic. That's totally fine. Anything that you contribute is more than enough and even just sitting here to watch the stream is very much appreciated so thank you love what you do and your twitter gives me a good chuckle i'm glad that my twitter gives you a good chuckle honestly i think my twitter is part of my pride and joy um i think i'm quite funny so what can i say i think i am hilarious let's see all right you know what i realize i have this horrible habit of saying let's see when i don't know what else to say like, who even says that? I don't... doesn't even make any sense. Let's see. It's like the way that I segue out of awkwardness, I guess. That's the best way I could put it. I don't think I'll put yellow on this one, because I don't think that yellow and purple make the best color combo. But what other colors could I put on this? I could do stars. Would that be nice? In like a... I don't know what color I could do it in, actually. It's a good question. I'm not quite sure. This is where we're at right now. It looks so bad from there. But it looks better in person, I swear. I swear it to you. Yeah. How do you make your milk tea? Um, I make it with brewing a bunch of black tea in the sun for five hours. And then I add creamer to it. Ah, man. Mm, pink stars or light blue stars? Ooh, I like light blue. Let's do that. Um, I'm gonna have to brush this off. And then, let's see. Um, I like this blue color. I'll mix it with some white. What kind of black tea? Ah, uh, repping that metal straw. Hell yeah, it's my boba straw. Um. I got my tea from this small business, Hella Tea, which I think they make the best loose leaf black tea I've ever tasted in my whole life, and it tastes exactly like boba milk tea. So if you want to check it out, hellatea.com. They're Oakland-based, and she's completely online and literally the sweetest person I've ever talked to. I worked with her business for Small Businesses Live, um, which was a TikTok collaboration, and she's so nice. Hella Tea. How do you spell it? That's exactly how you spell it. H-E-L-L-A-T-E-A. -E -E and they're all like Oakland themed and R&B themed um, teas, which is so cute. I love it. All right. White paint, a dab of blue. All right. Okay. I don't, yeah, I guess I'll just wing it. This requires extra focus. I just don't want people to like get these and be disappointed. That's my biggest fear. I would be sad. Yes, it's hella tea. Looked it up. Hell yeah. R and B more like R and T laugh track plays. Yeah, honestly, that's literally. I love it. She like I grew up listening to. I don't know. Like, tell me what sort of music you grew up listening to. But I listened to like a lot of funk and R and B, and so. When I found out about her business, I was like, this is literally the perfect thing because it's everything that I loved growing up and still love now as an adult. Lots of Lady Gaga and Avril Lavigne. Oh my god. I didn't actually really listen to Avril Lavigne growing up. I did listen to a lot of Gaga, though. I have a funny story with Lady Gaga. Maybe it's, like, funny to me. Slightly 
it's a little bit hilarious. Okay, so when I was in fifth grade, I moved schools to a different private school after coming from a public school. And so um, I was the new girl and I didn't really have a lot of friends, um, but I was like invited to this girl's birthday party because um, they like wanted to be inclusive and the parents were like, we should invite her because she's new. So I like went and it was a karaoke birthday party was completely new to the school i knew one person there and they were pairing up everybody in teams um pairing up everybody in teams to partake in a karaoke competition so i teamed up with the one person i knew her name was amy and she didn't really sing um but we were both like the weird asian kids in the school there was like three asian kids in my entire school um and so we were we went into the karaoke competition. I would never sang in front of people my entire life. I barely knew the people that I was even there with for this fucking birthday party. I didn't even know the birthday girl very well. And so I was like here at their birthday party and they were doing a karaoke competition and we're like, okay, what song could we do? We did um, Telephone by Lady Gaga. And I thought that I didn't know the lyrics, but the moment that the karaoke track came on, I was like, oh yeah, I was like singing it. And I got first place because the parents were to the judges. And even though it could have been just like, we should give it to her because she's new. I, everybody sounded like trash at that birthday party and I sounded okay. So I think I ended up in the right, in the right profession. Cyanic, thank you for, get a, oh my gosh, gifting a tier one sub to Crying Stardust. Everybody sounded like trash at that birthday party. Wow. I mean, we're 10 year olds. What can you, what can you say? 10 year olds are not very gifted in the art of singing. Um, I love Gaga. She was my first concert. Oh my God. You had Gaga as your first concert. That's sick. My first concert was Black Keys, which is a really good first concert. And then, um, yeah, God, that's a really cool first concert. Damn. I got my fingerprint on that. Does that mean it's worth more? <laughs> I got my fingerprint on my cassette thing. Do I cover it up? Like, what do I do? Yes, it does. Okay, I'm leaving it. Wait, I don't want you guys to scan my fingerprints. The fact you touched it means it is worth more. <laughs> Should I leave it? Leave it. Okay, fine. That's okay. That's okay. I can't. Stars are really hard for me to draw. Because I can't make straight lines. Like, I. It's very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm focusing. Aya! It's fine. Um. Ooh, I know which one I want to do next. Okay, this one's taking me ages. I didn't even expect for this to be so long. Okay, I'm using my nail to fix this. Have you guys watched Down to Earth on Netflix yet with Zac Efron? It's quite good. I recommend it. You seem to pulse lightly. What? First concert was going to be you, but F, oh no. Today's with my first concert and I'm going to see the driver era in Feb. Maybe if Corona goes away by then. Hopefully you'll be next. I hope so. Should I paint my ukulele mat? Yes, you should. It's so fun. Somebody was like, painting your ukulele makes the sound different. Like it could on a really expensive ukulele, which you probably wouldn't want to paint in the first place. But I say paint your instruments because it's more fun. Yummy tea. Yummy tea. Lovely. Lovey. Oh, lovey Angie. Thank you for 10 bit cheer. You're such a positive light in the music industry. Thank you for making so many people smile. You're so welcome. It's my pleasure. I feel honored to have the opportunity to do so. All right. One more star on here. And then I think we can call it a day and then add some accents. saw my palette I, I'm sure a paint an artist and a painter an artist would be ashamed of the way that I mix in 
use my colors. My last concert was Rex Orange County. <gasps> I saw Rex in October of 2018, and it was literally one of the best nights of my entire life. I went with my dad, and we had never gone to a concert together before. So it was really exciting, and he was like a big Rex fan too. So I'm so sorry, the star is so ugly, I feel bad. Okay. The last time when I was making mistakes on the ukulele, nobody had to witness them. Okay, this is fine. in a while I want that to be very clear I have not painted in a very long time um I think the most recent thing I painted was my phone case and I like this pattern actually I was thinking of putting that on a cassette tape I really like the way that that looks um let's see I'm gonna just add some more cloud definition else listen to lo-fi and like sing along even though there's no lyrics or you make up melodies as you listen <gasps> cyanic light thank you for a donation to tiltify hey i just want to say hi and thank you for all the great work you do in the community i hope you see you in concert sometime soon thank you for entertaining me and my girlfriend during these times you're so welcome it's my pleasure to do that I love that one. When, when people tell me they watch my streams with other people, it makes my heart feel very happy. Minx, thank you for your 100 bit cheer. Kids Bop concerts go off. Anyways, hope your day is going well. Thank you. You too. I have never been to a Kids Bop concert. Should I? Should I go to one? You tell me. Ah! Okay, it survived. It has a little bit of paint on one of the buttons, but that's it. That's all that happened. I don't even think that was from the fall. It's okay, everybody. It has my fingerprints everywhere. It's worth so much. <laughs> no, it's all good. Okay, I need to fix this. I'm covering my fingerprints up because it's bothering me. Um... I look, does anybody else go into like weird positions when they paint? Feels like that might be just me. Um, we're gonna add some sulfur paint. I'm crying. Don't be, don't be crying. The stream stopped. I'm sorry. Ew, who speaks like that? Um, is that a radio? It's a cassette player. Y'all need to read the title of the stream. The world's tiniest paintbrush. You can barely even see the bristles. I'm using this for the silver and I'm adding that to um you know what it fell on the ground it got my cat's hair in it that's what it did so sorry if you're allergic to cats I'm doing my best Ugly, how did this happen? Okay, I fixed it. Use my hands. Okay. Another one. 
I'm just adding like little silver accents to it. But thin paintbrushes are hard to use, I realize. Okay, I'm gonna let this one sit on the side and vibe out while I figure out how to do the next one. Okay, so can you get paintbrushes that only have one fiber which are labeled? You can? Who would use that and why? For what reason? Charity streams and flying cassettes. I love this community. Thanks to the cheer lily. You've inspired me to paint my old uke. What do you think I should paint on it? Mm. I feel like flowers and clouds are kind of where people land most times when they are trying to think of what to paint something. All right, now we have our second cassette of the day. Um, oh gosh. Look at my arms already covered in paint. My hands are getting covered in paint. Um, this one, I'm just gonna do some abstract shapes because that's actually my favorite thing to paint, which sounds odd, but it's true. All right, using this paintbrush. Like if I can just make a bunch of clean looking blobs of different colors. Now you know that these are actually made by me. So much so that they even fall on the ground of my studio. Okay. We have one blob done. Now we're gonna do a couple other yellow blobs. This is going to take quite a few layers of paint because you can't see it. I might have to paint on white with this one. And then let's do one down here. Okay. Now Yellow's done. Cricket. I hear a cricket. Is that a part of the song? You might hear a bird from outside, maybe. Doo, 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 doo. Blue. Oh, is that a bird? It is that bird. Yeah, it's probably the bird. Let's see. I have a very active neighborhood with bird noises. How did you think a bird was a cricket? These are the questions. Okay, the blue is also a little spotty. Should I do um, primary colors? So yellow, blue, and red? I kind of like that idea. There's only 10 of these two, so I'm kind of trying to figure that out. Yes, yes, yes. All right, cool. We're doing that. OMG Maya, I can't even explain how much you help me. I love watching your streams and they make me feel not as lonely. I've been in quarantine for over 120 days, but it's the only thing that's helping me. Um, I love you, Maya. Thank you so much, Claire. Thanks for cheering. And I'm, it's, these help me just as much as they maybe help you. Oh man. Yes, a town gameplay. What? You feel bummy? I'm sorry. Everybody has those days. Feeling bummy is the worst. I think like my least favorite emotion is the emotion where you're like, I just feel absolute poo, but like you can't really describe beyond that. You just feel bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love white chocolate. It really is young. Oh no. I had this entire surface area to pick up the cassette player and somehow 
my finger decided that it would be a really great location to just stamp it directly onto the paint. I hate it here. I hate it. It's fine. I have to paint over that with white anyways, so it's okay. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Mm. All these cassettes about to have your fingerprints everywhere. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna lie about it. Of course they will. I'm human. I am human. Human. Don't people want fingerprints? It's the proof. Okay. Let's see. I might not even... Well, it's unfortunate because I already have yellow there, but it's fine. Let's see. I'm gonna... These extra long paintbrushes, they're literally so long. I don't know why. No idea. No clue. Let's see. I'm gonna paint it with white. Doo -doo. I also signed all of the ukuleles. I don't know if that's something people want me to do on the cassettes. But I don't know where. That's the only problem. I, I guess I could, like, open it up and... No, not really. There's nowhere good to sign it. If I had a silver sharpie, I could sign it down here. Give me a feminine name suggestion for Stardew character. I don't know. Let me read this. Gray or CJ, thank you for donating $10 to the Tiltify campaign. Thank you for using Flare Platform for good. Also, TBH for the same age and the same area. And I'm always like, I can't tell if I want to be friends with Maya or be her. Thanks for making great music. I always get the aux in my girlfriend's car and player stuff. Thank you again. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm. It's like, I feel like I, what am I, what was I about to say? It's so cool that like, people like me listen to my music i i did this again people like me listen to my music so why is this so long it's getting in the way of everything oh my god because i don't know i like that makes me happy makes me happy why is this paintbrush so fucking long holy man Holy man. Ocean man. What? I'm sorry. All right. This is, hey y'all. If this becomes too hard for me to stream and paint and it becomes boring for you all, I can turn off the stream and go about my day watching some Netflix and completing, completing these. Cause I don't want it to be boring. Ocean man, take me by the hand. Long paintbrush. Sanrio themed? I'm not talented enough to do that. I'm very sorry. No, okay, okay, okay. I just feel bad if I'm like sitting here and I get hyper focused on painting. It can look like, um, I don't care. But it's not true. It's not true. Yesterday, I was watching this, like, I was like, I was trying to get, um, Figuring out how to make Streamlabs work. Kango, thank you for donating Tiltify. It shows up as 4.2, but we all know the actual money value was 420. What should I name my Smurf in Valorant? Ognek. Ognek. Um, what was I going to say? Ognek. Yeah. Easy. Or it's, it's Gugnek. Gugnek. Um, mm. or just Goog. <laughs> oh man, milk tea is just tea with milk. Um, but I like it a lot. Uh, this is too watery. I messed up. 
Okay, please, please saturate on top of this. Thank you. You're kind of doing what I want you to do, but not very well. Okay, okay. All right, the red is looking better. I'm getting there. Do mm. do you ice it? What? Yeah, we make iced tea. It's so funny to me that iced tea is not a thing that exists in some places. Like, it's just not something that people experience. Even in like Morocco, like the fact that like mint tea hot in a hot place is like a thing. Man, I couldn't do it. Iced tea all the way, every single day. I would die without having iced tea around me. All right, okay, the red is good. I'm gonna work on the yellow. What's your dream car? So, okay, I can't drive. Um, I don't have a driver's license. I'm gay. Um, yeah. My dream car, though, is a Fiat 500 in olive green. I have a dream car, but I don't have a license. Yeah. Hot tea over iced tea, not sorry. You don't need to be sorry. Um, I respect your wrong opinion, but iced tea's better. So good. Mmm, yummy. Iced tea. Now, what the yellow? Okay. The ukulele is honestly were a lot easier to paint just because the surface was a lot easier to navigate. Cassette players are a little bit more complicated. Easily, easily more complicated than ukuleles ice tea writes did i hear mxm mobile hi nana someone redeem their points for mxm hydrate i drank my tea my you really are british phobic cancel mxm no don't cancel me please she's fries thank you for 100 bits do you listen to the marias they're one of my favorite bands and they're la based i highly recommend them i do actually listen to some of their music but i don't listen to a whole lot of their discography but i will add it to my queue of songs to listen to i'm not british phobic because i like hot tea too i just prefer to drink iced tea um yeah i was telling um who was it? i was telling some friends the other day that i'm an expert in cat cafes when it comes to the uk because when I was on tour with Robbie in the UK, I went to a cat cafe nearly every single day off I had. And if I wasn't going to a cat cafe, I went to see Frozen 2 every single time that I also had a free moment. Um, most times it would be going to a cat cafe and when I stayed until the cat cafe closed, I would go and see Frozen 2. Um, but I was so depressed in the UK on that tour that I had to like go get serotonin by looking up cat cafes on TripAdvisor when I was in a country I'd never been to before. So if you ever need suggestions on cat cafes to go to, I can re recommend you a few, but only in the UK. Um, yeah, odd expertise, but I know things. Did you go to one in Leeds? I didn't, cause I didn't have a day off. We didn't have a whole lot of day offs. Um, we had a couple travel days where we would drive and then have some more free time, but Leeds didn't have any cat cafes. When I was in Leeds, I went to a cafe and walked around and ate avocado toast, but the avocado toast was not very good. I'm not gonna lie. UK doesn't know how to make avocado toast. Not from the standards of someone from California because we make it better here. MJ, I used to live in Leeds. Leeds was interesting. I'd never gone before. Someone took Robbie's shoe off of the stage and then drove home with it. It was an odd day. Yeah, it was a very weird day. Um, we had to tweet at them. I also DM'd them threatening be like, bring back Robbie's shoe. Yeah, somebody stole Robbie's shoes off of the stage from Leeds because 
Robbie doesn't perform with his shoes on. For the rest of the tour, he, he performed with his shoes on. Um, but he likes to just make his face look comfy and comforting and homey, which makes a lot of sense for his music. But, oh my gosh, Nicholas, thank you for donating Tiltify. I'm really happy to see you helping charities. You're one of the most amazing people and artists at the moment for me. Almost Home just gives me peace when I need. Sorry for donating so little. Not at all. Don't feel bad. I'm from Brazil and a dollar is hell expensive here. Anyways, love you and your art. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You don't need to feel bad at all for whatever amount you're donating. I appreciate you even thinking of donating at all. So thank you, Nicholas. Or Nicolas. I don't know if that's how you say it. I'm trying to say it in a non-American way, though. Um, but yes, so Robbie's shoe was taken from the stage. Um, it was crazy. Like, we were all DMing this person because they were, like, drunk. And then they went back and drove home and took a photo of their shoe and shared it with Robbie, being like, Robbie, thank you so much for the shoe. It fits perfectly. Like, I'm so excited to have this. And I'll I'll bring it back to you the next time you're in Leeds. And we were like, whoa. Oh. What? what we were sitting inside the bus we were dying because robbie was like i can't tell if i should laugh or scream because it's a huge invasion of personal property to take somebody's fucking shoes off the stage drive home with them and then tell them that you're gonna bring them back like robbie didn't know the next time he was gonna be in leeds what the fuck like we had we, we all dm'd this person being like bring back Robbie's shoe now or else and we were all sitting on the stage and or we were sitting inside the bus and then they drove all the way back we waited like another hour for them to drive back and so um <laughs> John Robbie's tour manager goes outside and like deals with the exchange it was crazy because I swear to god it was like I don't want to compare it to dealing drugs or anything but it was hilarious because we we're all like watching from the bus looking outside seeing if um you know what was happening with this person and they drove back and john was like please give the shoe now or please give the shoe now <laughs> and so we and so, so we were like, we were just watching from the bus and then we got Robbie's shoe back, but it was like crazy because they had driven literally an hour away already at that point and Robbie got his shoes back. But Robbie's like, I don't really want to wear these because it was a stranger who had worn his shoes before. It was wild. It was a wild night. Anyways, we all slept very hard on the bus that night because everybody was exhausted from having to deal with that exchange. Um, destroy the shoe. Burn the shoe! Was, I'm trying to think of other funny stories that happened while I was on that tour. I was, like, pretty mentally ill at that point in the UK. I was having a bad time. Robbie was very sweet to deal with me and being just not great. I was trying on stage every night to just, like, have it, hold it together because I missed home so bad. I was, like, very homesick while I was in the UK. Um, but, God, what other funny things happened while we were there? Um... Shoot. I'm trying to remember. I'm sure there's other things, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. What did he do with the shoe? He wore them because he didn't have any other shoes to wear. Oh my god. Do you recommend cat cafes in the UK? Yes. Let me look at my camera roll here. Um... Um... Let me see here in my Google Photos. There was one that I went to in Glasgow that was closed and then i went to one in oh no which one i didn't go to one in dublin i went to one in london i think god god i can't remember I can't remember where i went everything was so close to each other okay let's see let's see here also there was this really cute cafe in norwich that was like Look at it, it was so nice. All these tiny little cute cafes in the UK are amazing, I will say. That is one thing that brought me joy. It sparked joy. I love also the old, like, cobblestone streets and stuff. They were so nice to, like, walk by. Um, there's a burp counter. Hell yeah, there's a burp counter. Norwich was actually one of my favorite places that I visited, which was surprising for a lot of people when I told them that. Um... Also, the show was really nice. I really enjoyed that. And then I didn't go to one while we were... Oh, I did go to one. I went to one in Leeds. Okay, I did go to one in Leeds. Never mind. I fucking lied to you. I think it was... God, where was this one? I'm looking on Google Maps. Explore now. It was... 
Kitty Cafe Leeds. So I did go to one in Leeds. And there was a kitten there that I played with a lot. It was so cute. Do, 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 do. It was so tiny. And then there was one that fell asleep on my lap too. I went with my tour manager, Hannah. So I had Hannah with me. Look at how tiny. Her name was Clementine. She was so small. So small and cute. You can't even see her. This is her. She was so small. It was so cute. And then there was this one. They had all these catwalks everywhere where they were just like looking out. Um, there was a Siamese cat that was extremely derpy there. Um, let's see. Where else did I go to one? I went to a cat cafe. Oh, God. Where are my photos? There was this other like... I went to an anime-themed cat cafe in... Oh, Bristol. I really liked Bristol a lot, too. Bristol was very pretty. But I didn't take a lot of photos of them. But they all looked the same. So I couldn't even tell them apart. But there were a lot of cats. And there was also this one cat who was walking on... They have like a... Oh, God. I want Like a hamster wheel for the cats. Here's a photo of me looking dead in my bunk. Um, I was having a great time. And then I didn't go to one in Dublin because I didn't have time. Uh, man, there's so many things here that I just I didn't share, I guess. Let's see. I think that I went to another one somewhere else. Let me look here. Sorry, everybody. I'm just scrolling through. Da -da 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 -da. At that point, though, on Twitter, I was, like, trying to share moments of, um, being in the UK to find, like, beauty in the things that I was doing because I was very depressed. And, you know, you just have up and down spells, and it's hard when you're in a different country and you're trying to navigate taking care of yourself, um, in a place you've never been to before. But I was doing, it's doing okay. I found small moments of joy. Like this restaurant named Chili Daddy. Um, that gave me a good laugh. Yeah. Do, do, do. I think I found your dream car. It's the Discord. Oh, it's in the Discord. I was like, what? Oh, no, Lucas. What did Lucas send? Maya's dream car. An olive green Fiat. It's in fan submissions if anybody's curious. You know what? I can't say confidently that is my dream car. An olive. An olive on some wheels. I can't find... I went to other cat cafes, but I guess I didn't take photos. Um, but yeah. I also went to Ikea in South Birmingham. For dinner. Because I was homesick. <laughs> Hold on. I must have other photos here that are funny. Are they funny or are they just sad, Maya? Is it just of you crying and you think that's funny? Good questions. Um, Glasgow was so pretty. I know that that is, like, not a common opinion. But I thought it was really pretty. Like, I went on a sunny day and it was amazing. I loved all of the greenery and everything. It was so cool to just, like, walk around. And I want to go back to Scotland really bad. I would really like that. Um, when we were in Leeds, we went to... Um, there was, like, a skate park there that Hannah, my tour manager, and I walked around in. It was so pretty. Mm, I wish that I could go back to the UK on the basis of, like, being a tourist. I think I would probably enjoy it a little bit more. Um, where was this one? I think this was... This is in a stopover somewhere. Oh, we were in Leeds. We were in this shopping district, though. Um, but Norwich is really pretty. Man. I love looking through my camera roll. I don't know if you guys are big fans of that. Peachy Bunny, thank you for subbing. It's like, it brings me a lot of joy. Like, I take photos of a lot of things. Like, I went out to dinner with my brother, so I took a photo of us eating dinner. Or when I was apartment hunting. This is the building that Dylan and I would end up living in but like i took a photo of it and i was like wow that's so cool and then we ended up living there like this is me with my band i hope this is not boring stop saying that maya have confidence anyways 
This is me with my band, Jacob and Carrie. We were hanging out um, in Atlanta, vibing on stage with the MXM tune sign. <laughs> I miss touring so bad. I miss my band so bad. I'm crying. This is me and Chloe. Me and Chloe. Ah, uh, focus. Oh, we're so cute. There we go. Me and Chloe. And now, this is, okay, so before every show, my band and I, we would do, like, yoga in the green rooms. This was the green room for, okay, please fucking focus. I swear to God. What do you want from me? What do you want? We would do, like, yoga in the green rooms. This was the green room for Atlanta, and it was literally an old kitchen with a vending machine inside of it. And then, um... It was disgusting. It smelled so bad. So if you are thinking that being in the music industry is glamorous or nice, uh-uh. It is absolutely not. It smelled so gross inside of that fucking green room. It was insane. Can't even believe it. Um, I have so many photos that I never got to share, but this was all of our gear that we stuck inside of. We stuck it inside of the U-Haul that we lugged around the country with our big old car um god this is what the 88 rising setup looked like from behind do you want to see it has such a hard time focusing on photos here there we go that's what it looked like you had two people filming me and then they recorded and they were like pretend this is your apartment and so i said okay Sure. Hi everyone, I'm MXM Tune. I'm sitting in my new apartment in New York City. And I was like, this is a lie. My new apartment doesn't even look like that. Man. But I filmed that back in December. December of last year. Nice. Nice. God, I have so many screenshots from so many things. Wow. I miss touring so bad. Uh, this is making me sad. I want to go back. Oh. Here's me pointing to a thing on the wall that said ass eater. I had a good time. Wow. Here's one of the weird ass hotel rooms I seen. There was a hot tub in the middle of my fucking room and it had mirrors there. I did not feel safe. I did not feel comfortable. I did not feel excited to be there. We got in at three in the morning and I had to go to sleep next to a bathtub. Touring is uh, simultaneously a nightmare and the best thing ever. Just so you know, just so you know. Okay, so also Robbie's manager, Zach, has a donut shop in philly if you ever get to go to it hello donuts it's very good vegan donuts so i could eat them and i was feeling fine and not gassy afterwards sorry if that's tmi it's lactose intolerance it's the honest truth these things are so weird okay what things me sharing my experience also i saved i was like on a hunt to find bagged milk when i went to canada and i never found it which was a little bit upsetting Here's me and Amanda. Me and Amanda. Twins. We would look more like twins now, I think, if we stood next to each other. Just told right to it, love. What else is here? Bagged milk. Here's me and Alexander, except it's blurry. Don't you love good quality photos? Man. Okay, so fun fact. The water that is given to you at the San Francisco venue, Great American Music Hall, is very scary because it's called liquid death. This is the water that they give you and it's mountain water and it's actually very good, 
but um nobody drinks on my tour i run a dry tour so nobody's allowed to drink alcohol this is largely because i am underage and also i am allergic to alcohol um and so we it was we were really excited for the water because it's like it it looks hardcore but like we were drinking it and there was no effect which was great it was very fun friend got sponsored by them today by liquid death that's so cool oh my god i stole some so i could take it home and feel cool that was what i did um let me paint i guess that's the purpose of of what i'm doing currently um here we go the blue is still not very saturated it's getting there i'll probably have to work on a few at the same time just so i can let layers of paint dry um which is okay that's okay it's fine and good um it's also i don't know if this is weird but if you guys do you ever experience like i don't know how to explain it but i guess like chameleoning so when i hang out with robbie robbie has a very specific way of talking and i love the way that robbie talks because i feel like it's very i don't know i just i like the way that he phrases things and puts it but when i hang out with him i tend to pick up on a lot of his like habits as a person and i think i do this with a lot of people where i kind of just mirror the way that they are and it's not code switching necessarily because i don't think that it's like maybe it is like a weird form of code switching but i do that a lot with verbal and physical actions and i think that's because of, as an empathetic person i tend to mirror the traits of people so i can help them feel more comfortable around me and so i do that a lot and with robbie it's like very evident when you when i've been spending time with him because oh god when i got back from the uk i would answer calls from my managers and they'd be like you talk like robbie right now and i was like oh my god it's like slightly embarrassing like it wasn't anything where i was purposely trying to like steal the way that he is or his affect but like with me i guess i tend to do that with people where i'm like i should mirror the way that they're acting because then it makes them feel more comfortable around me and it's like just an empathy thing um so yeah god i don't know that's something that i experience i do that with like a lot of people in a lot of my day-to-day -day life but was curious if anybody else has experienced that too my do you stand me six there are some me six haters in the discord what side are you on i stand me six otherwise me six wouldn't be in my discord yeah i do that a lot okay good i'm glad glad um i literally just still i used to feel like oh god that was one of the things that i struggled with the most i think growing up was feeling like i didn't have an identity and i think now as a an adult i'm not even a teenager anymore by definition i'm just an adult um i think i have a better sense of who i am to the point that i feel like i don't need to code switch or gravitate towards personality traits that i like from other people and feel like i need to attach them to myself anymore um but i think that's just something that comes with time too like feeling strong enough in your own identity to not feel like you need to grab other things from other people but it's hard too i think naturally as people when we admire something about another person we're going to want to have that within ourselves but i think that eventually gets us closer to figuring out what the authentic version of who we are is yeah why aren't you vegan i'm not vegan because i'm not vegan but if you want a reason for a while i couldn't be vegan because i was anemic <laughs> so yeah mm -hmm. donut friend here in la slash <gasps> i love donut friends i was in la for my band rehearsals for the masquerade tour and i was living right by a donut friend and i literally ate there three times in one week which is so bad for your health because it's just donuts do 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 how long will you be streaming i don't know however long i feel like i can on sundays i tend to stream a little bit longer because i um i don't i start at two so i can do like four hour streams but yeah depends okay so this one's coming along nicely i'm gonna do 
yellow up here. Ow! And now painting this one. Wow, I transitioned really fast away from being hurt. Sunday is E tier of the day. E tier? What does that even mean? Uh, uh, I should get a silver sharpie. I'll get a silver sharpie and I'll sign the underside of them for people. See you next stream. Bye, Sunny Patch. Take care. Let's see. Okay, now all of the spots are done on it. It's so cute. I think this is my favorite one so far. What I do is I take the back side of a paintbrush, I dab it inside of this, I'm gonna dot things. Dot. 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 Bigger dot. Round it out. James, thank you for your donation. Wanted to donate some more because you're an amazing person and you're supporting an amazing cause. Also, what should I call my plant? It's Peace Lily. Ooh, well, okay. Thank you for your donation. Let's see. Peace Lily. Um, I like naming... Oh God, I'm trying to think of a name. I'm very bad at thinking of names. What is a gender neutral name? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Alex is a nice gender neutral name. Brad was right. For me, I would say, I'm trying to think of I don't know, like, f Colby? I don't know if you like that. Or B. I also like the name B. B. Okay, this one is done. I really like it. I don't know why. It's like simple and cute. I might add some more. We'll see. All right, it's drawing now. Ah! Careful, careful. It's fine. Everything's good and fine. All right. Now, let's go back to this one and figure out how to make this look not so like what it is. Oh God, what did I do to you? Hmm. I guess like, hmm. more white paint is probably the best way to fix this. It's just this one cloud that I don't enjoy a whole lot. Energetic vibe is so chaotic. Wait, what does it say? <laughs> Just realized how Billie Eilish concerts have this energetic vibe and it's so chaotic at times. Would you go, Maya? Probably not. I'm not like a very, I'm not an extroverted person. And so I, I don't know. Concerts are something that I enjoy passively experiencing. I tend to stand in the back of them and I like to listen, but even then I tend to wear earplugs so that way things are deafened for me a little bit more. So, um, I would probably go to a Billy concert just so that way I could watch and spectate what the hell it would even look like inside one of these things. 
Um, but I don't know if I would be actively participating in any mosh pit scenarios. Yeah. I'm an- are you an ambivert? I don't say- I used to think I was an ambivert, actually. And then I realized, I was like, I really don't gain any energy from talking with people. I am so exhausted from just social interaction as a basis that I don't think that I could be considered an ambivert. Um, so I identify with being an introvert. Um, okay, that looks a little bit better. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna take this. adding some definition to the star shapes that I did. Hmm. Okay, this looks better. Um, It looks a little bit better. I swear to God, these look better in person. Trust me, please. Um, okay, what should we do next? Someone said uh, we should do, I guess I could do flowers. Hmm. When will you be playing Subnautica? Probably Tuesday. Um, yeah, really wanna know, I wanna find out about how an MXM tune concert is going to be. Oh God. Has anybody, how would you describe an MXM tune concert if you have ever been to one? People are, like, enormously respectful at the MXM Tune concerts, which is, like, so nice for me because it doesn't make me stressed out about venue staff being mistreated or people being mistreated inside of the crowds. Like, I think there's only been a couple occasions where someone's been like, I couldn't see because somebody tall was in front of me. But, like, most of the times, tall people move to the back because they understand that there's a lot of shorter people that want to be able to see. So, like... People are so nice. It's crazy. Um, and, uh, God. People are just very kind, and everybody sings along very loud. Uh, so it's still hyped, but, like, respectfully hyped, you know? Yeah. It's pretty nice. I enjoy it. Basically, just enjoy it. Wait, that's such a dream for me. I'm so short. Yeah, a lot of times, a lot of the short people can move to the front because people are like, they understand that if they can see, they can move back. Um, so people are really nice. The lines always have a lot of space because people understand personal boundaries. Um, people do come very early though. Julia is a great example of people lining up for a concert even though it's four hours away. Um, people come very early to line up and yeah but i would say they're very wholesome experiences all in all do you enjoy holding your concerts as an introvert i do actually even though i'm really introverted i really love concerts and i really love meet and greets even though they take the energy out of me a lot i still really enjoy meeting people and getting to know each of you guys so um yeah i love i love concerts i will come so early i don't care i don't care oh my god four hours i was waiting on a concert for 10 hours jesus toby don't come 10 hours in advance it's not worth it my you've created such a loving community that not only loves you but love each other i'm not sure if you saw my message but i broke up with my boyfriend last night and so many people are sending me love in the chat thank you for you're so welcome i hope you're doing well velveta oh man girlfriend thank you for gifting a sub to the dead 095 oh my gosh i feel very thankful that like hopefully if somebody has positive energy and you can attract other people with like minds to be kind and encouraging and supportive of people so yeah you know that's like i think the most important thing we'll go to an mx17 concert someday brad i will pr perform a personal concert just for you just for you can we camp out oh my god don't camp out for seattle oh gosh you guys are gonna stress me out i can't do this i can't do this um what should I paint on here? I guess flowers is the easiest thing to do. So let's do, let's do that. 
Lena, thank you so much for donating. Donating for the cause and to tell you that I wore your London tour t-shirt on a night out at university and a girl recognized it and we had a long drunk convo about how much we love your music and TikTok. That's so cute. That's so nice. I'm so glad that you were able to form a connection from a tour t-shirt. That's amazing. Thank you. Mm. Making AC villagers. Y'all think that I'm talented. Wrong. Bees? Ooh, I like the idea of bees. I can do bees. Let's do bees. Bees is cute. All right. Bees. For bees, I'm going to paint a white base. Okay. I have a white base. All right, we have three bees that will be on this. Why was Michael with a bee? Where's the bee? Paint stitches. Oh, that's too complicated. Hmm, that's so good. How much, oh, how much, how would, Elmeo, how would you come to the Middle East? I would go to the Middle East, but I just have never been before, so I will have to go at some point. Um, do you know Slow Tie? Yeah, I do know who Slow Tie is, but I don't listen to their music a whole lot. Man, I'm felting a strawberry cow at the moment. That sounds so cute, Claire. Will you go to Ohio, my girl? I literally would go anywhere, except I just don't have plans to go anywhere currently. <laughs> man oh okay i wonder if hmm. i have a gold sharpie here i have silver sharpies is it new it works wait let's sign it should i okay hold on i have a rose gold oh bronze that one's not working that one's not working silver it is we're signing them. Signature. It took me a long time to figure out what I wanted my signature to look like. I used to, in fourth grade, I practiced what my signature would look like for when I'm famous, but that just turned into my regular signature. Oh my god. There we go. They're signed now. Do you listen to Wallows? If so, fave songs. I do listen to Wallows. Not as much as maybe a Wallows stan listens to Wallows, but I really like their latest cover that they did. Um, yeah. Oh, we got a lot of Ohio people. Interesting. Would you consider yourself famous? No. I don't really consider myself to be famous. I think fame is something that belongs to people like on a level where if you say their name they know who you are like I don't I would say I'm well known in a certain sphere of the music industry and internet but I don't think I'm famous no like I just am a person who happens to have a certain number of people listening to her um yeah yeah I don't know like I guess some people can look at me and say that I am but I don't, I don't know if I view, I don't feel that on a day-to-day -day basis. So, I don't know. I guess fame is something that people feel. And I don't feel that way. Like, for a large majority of the time, I just exist, like, in my house playing video games. I don't really have a lot of interactions that make me f feel anything different than what I am currently. Imagine being cool enough to have two signatures. Wow. I mean, I was like, I just don't want people knowing my regular signature. <laughs> for things so i should probably make something else for my mxm tomb signings you know yeah oh man song recommendation love in my pocket by rich brian wait okay i want to play it because it's so good i got love up in my pocket and i don't know what to do with it i'm gonna get dmca'd again i'm just kidding i don't think i've ever got dmca'd i just get um muted on my stream Oh, wrong song. Still good though. 
all my patience hour so up I was wasted midsummer madness you're highly relevant thanks Nick <laughs> regular signature getting doxed yeah I know Fuck the rules, 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 Fuck the rules, rules, Oh my gosh, I feel that you're famous, but because you're so open with us and so interactive with us, you feel more like a long distance friend to me. I hope that isn't weird. That's not weird at all. I mean, you all feel like long distance friends to me, so yeah. Me. 88 Rising concert, but Maya just sings all songs. I'd be down. Why can't I listen to regular music all the time? Wait, I need to get the um. I need to make the bees. Oh my love. Why can't I, can I, can I sing, um, do I risk getting this entire stream muted just so I can listen to my regular music? Because I'd be vibing so hard right now if I could just listen to other songs. Yes, I mean. Like, I would do it, I think. We wish to vibe, but DMCA says no, right? I mean, Joji's telling me to fuck the rules. And so, maybe I just do that. Eric's not here, so he can't tell me not to do it. Fuck the rules, 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 the rules. Can you hear the music loud enough, by the way? So it's like me singing along instead of me just awkwardly singing loud. Bees. A little louder. Okay, I turned it up a little bit. Sunshine Bay. If only I could be called someone Sunshine Bay. I want to be a Sunshine Bay. Do covers? Do you get banned here on Twitch? No, because it's not technically recognizable. I don't think. You are my Sunshine Bay, Maya. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Yeah! I got love up in my pocket and I don't know what to do with it. I got love up in my rocket and I don't know what to do with it. This song is so good. I got love up in my rocket and I'm stuck on a reality. Painting. That you never really felt the same as more like you were you and me. I got you in the house when you leave my body. I got you in the house when you leave my body. I 
We have a B. I don't know what to do with it. Do with it. I'm singing, it's fine. Mr. Ray, Mr. Ray, Mr. Ray. They have wings now. She's in when you're gonna finish. I said in like five minutes. She's an independent type. She never need a guy with her. Never mind in my business. She might rather die with her. Sipping on the goose right now. Feeling sad in the rout. So you taking off your mask when nobody's around. Girl. Okay. There we go. It's there. So, um. Maya, do you love Twitch streamers to use your music on stream? What sort with with DMT being so well? I do, but like I don't know how to I don't know how to have control over things not getting muted or DMCA. So I would just say for safety, probably not. But like as a person, I want everybody to be able to use my music. So I'm I'll try and talk with my managers and see if something comes up, but I don't know. I do not know. I don't know how to fight the DMCA. The DMCA just fights me. The bees are so cute. I'm gonna give them a gold trail, you know? I think that would be cute. Da 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 Be yourself. Love yourself. Okay, hold on. We're gonna play... What is the old playlist that I have? Um, what kind of vibes do you all want? Hmm. I'm trying to look. I like want. Let's see. If I play the tongue tied radio. Pretty good. I don't know whose playlist this is, but thanks. I will listen to it. No, no. Oofy. There needs to be like a PSA that you would do allow them to use it so that they can reference it if Twitch comes for that kind of thing. I'll check it out because that would be really helpful. And I want to make sure that people don't get bopped for using my music. Take me to your best friend's house. Go around that roundabout. Oh, yeah. Take me to your best friend's house. I love you then and I'll love you now. Oh, yeah. Don't take me tongue tied. Don't wave no goodbyes. Don't. To your best friend's house, we're making out. Oh, yeah. Take me to your best friend's house. I love you then, and I love you now. Don't take me to Break! 
don't leave me tongue tied. I'll stay up all night. I can't it pillow fight. My eyes on your eyes like Peter Pan up in the sky. My best friend's house tonight. Let's bump the beat till bed if I don't take me tongue tied. Don't leave no goodbye. Don't take me I love vibing here with you. Thank you. Because most of it at this point will just be me singing along. Froggy chair? That's so hard to paint. Y'all expect too much of me when I'm going to lie. I'm not that talented. Not with painting, at least. This feels like it needs more, so I'm gonna put little green leaves on it. Forever by Claro, please. I mean, I don't know, I'm just playing this playlist right now, so we'll see what comes on. Some nights... Oh my god, that's an older song. Some nights of This isn't old. No, I know that. <laughs> I said Some Nights was from like 2010. By fun? I'm not stupid, y'all. B cassette. Um, okay, B cassette is done. This one is fully dry. So, I need something else still. I'm gonna use the silver so I can add some shine to it. This one's good. We did, I'll probably do two more cassettes on stream. 
The B one's so cute. Wow, so nice. Say you stupid lies. I really like this one for some reason. I just think it's cute. What else could it use? Wish I had a black sharpie so I could like outline it. A strawberry cow cassette? Oh my god, y'all have these big ideas. Frankly, my brain is too small. Um I love you, bad sons, but no. I don't think she liked it either, and that's why she gave it to me. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Oh, man. Oh, man. but they're another form of flower that's cute. I don't even know what they're saying in that part of the song, but I sing along because I, I want to, but I don't know what they're saying. try and just paint on the gray part from now on oh i love this song it's so good fifa so we have a bunch of little flowers we can do blue corn flowers on another one this is an advert song yeah it is but it's still good I love polka dots. I'm a man who 
Who's got very specific taste? Oh yeah, you're just my type. You got a pulse and you are breathing. Just my type. I added gold dots to it. How do you make a frog cassette? Sounds complicated. A butterfly one? I could probably do that too. Who's got very specific taste? Oh yeah, you just my talk. You've got a pulse and you are breathing. Oh yeah, you're just my type. Oh, 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 oh. Just my type. Ooh, ooh, ooh. La 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 Mushrooms? Oh! I interpreted that extremely the wrong way when someone said, yeah, do mushrooms. My brain immediately went, you want me to do drugs? But yes, I can draw mushrooms onto the cassettes. I got you. I pretend I do not know it. All right. This one's looking better. We're gonna add some leaves to it. Maya, no. What? Immediately going to drugs? What do you expect? When someone says, yeah, do mushrooms, without specifying that they want me to paint mushrooms. This is such a throwback song. Um, that would be a fun stream. I'm absolutely never going to do drugs on stream. No. I don't even do drugs off stream. What? I also went to the drug. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> yeah, do mushrooms. Stay out of school, do drug. <laughs> no! Stay in school, do no drug. All night. We could do this all night. We could do this all night. Ooh. Awkward. Iconopop ruled the 2010s. We could do this all night. Do we like it? Hear it. Help! Cute. Does it need something else though? I feel like keeping it simple is better. Put more dots on it. Feels like a safe way to just add things. Okay. We can do another one too. Like we could do the song. Do 
with my Mod Podge. I'm gonna Mod Podge the ones that we've been working on. We could do this all night. We could do this all night. Oh, just kidding. My Mod Podge expired. I can't use it. I have to go get some more. Okay, so I guess we'll just do a fifth cassette then, instead of mod potching. <gasps> wow. As much as I love this song as a throwback, no. Ha, oh, fuck yeah. Coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine Gotta, gotta be down because I want it all Started out with a kiss, how did it end up like this? It was only a kiss, it was only a kiss So whoever receives this cassette, I'm really sorry but I broke it now she's touching her chest now she takes off her dress now letting me go ah i can't get it out i just can't look it's killing me and taking control Jealousy turning snakes into the sea. DMCA, probably. Your alibi, but it's just the price I pay. Destiny is calling me. Open up my eager eyes. How do you get the cassette players? You buy a cassette and then you will get randomly selected and you will get it in the mail. The Dawn cassette, by the way. Coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Gotta, gotta be down because I want it all. It started out with the kiss. How did it end up like this? I'm doing the butterfly one now. She's taking a drag. My stomach is sick and it's all in my head But she's touching his chest now He takes off her dress Now letting me go This is not very safe for work, I realize. I'm sorry. And I just can't look It's killing me And taking control Jealousy turning snakes into the sea, turning the sick lullabies, choking on your alibi. But it's just the price I pay. Destiny is calling me. Open up my eager eyes. I put grass on the bottom. Can't get over snakes. I could do a snake themed one. This song used to play on the radio when I was like five and I loved it. Poor little me didn't know what it was about. It's um, yeah. This was my song when I was 12. Needless to say, I did not know what it was about either. Um, oh, I love this song. Life's too short to even care at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Losing my mind, losing my mind, losing control. There's fishes in the sea, they're staring at me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Wet world aches for the beat of the drum whoa, whoa. If I could find a way to see this place I run away to some fortune that I, I should have found by now I'm waiting for this cause to come down, come down What if I order one right now? Will I have a chance of getting it? You should, because I haven't made them yet, so nobody's been sent, um, I believe, the random cassette players. It's actually probably better to order it now, if I think about it. Because I will probably be shipping these back. God, I don't even know. Um, in like a couple weeks? Coming up now out of the blue, oh, oh, oh. These zombies in the park, they're looking for my heart, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. A dark world aches for us by the sun, whoa. If I could find a way to see this place, I'll run away. This isn't even my playlist, it's literally called Tongue Tied Radio. If you search that on Spotify, it should come up. I don't know who this is. This ain't like gonna restore me, restore life the way it should be. I'm waiting for this car syrup to come down. I like the color of these butterflies. They're so pretty. Eh. Eh. Nothing's focusing well. Do you remember when you were painting the ukuleles and Boo just sat on your paint? Yeah. When I was painting the ukuleles the last time, my cat sat onto the green paint. It got on his butt hair and then he sat down on my carpet. And there is a stain to this day on the carpet in this room because my cat painted it with his butt hair. Thanks so much for that, Boo. That was so nice of you. the grass to have texture to see this trail I run away to some fortune that I should have found by now so they say could restore me restore life the way it should be 14 cats spread across three households how do you take care of that many cats that's insane Art is in the eye of the beholder, Omega Lol. It's true. He thought he was making a masterpiece. He wanted to look fancy. Oh god, it was horrible. I'd like I couldn't even get it off because it was acrylic paint. So like I had to like it wasn't water based, so I couldn't get rid of it with water. I had to like cut his hair. TBH Glee did snap on this scene. I don't remember the scene. No. This is the one. This is the one. More than just a dream. More than just a dream. You need days and forty nights. You were out of my league All the things I believe You were just the right kind Yeah, you were more than just a dream Do you like Melanie Martinez? I do! I like her music a lot I bought the Dawn Cassette El Mayo. I'm gonna gift it to my girlfriend. Sick. <laughs> I hope she enjoys it. More, 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 more. Eh, 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 eh. 
else. Just the right kind, yeah, you were more than just a dream. You were out of my league, all a heartbeat racing. You were trying to win me, cause you were more than just a dream. Alright, okay, this one's coming together. I'm trying to think of what I want the trail's color to be from the butterfly. We have gold, so I might as well just use that one. everybody Okay, butterfly is done. Butterfly cassette. Okay, we have, I think enough. I will mod podge them now. What's a good last song to risk getting DMCA'd? Would you look my way? I can be your new addiction. All right, let's check the final total for the Tiltify campaign. I'm a sorry sucker for it happens all the time. I know about every everybody talks, everybody talks, everybody talks too. Now is when I kiss we raised a hundred no five hundred sixty seven dollars thank you everybody for taking the time out of your days to watch the sunday charity stream i know this was a shorter one two hours but i'm gonna have to focus on painting the rest of these and as i like as i get through them i will probably post them to twitter so yeah I don't, I'm gonna go watch Netflix and sit here and paint like a mad woman until all these are done. And if you receive one of these, I hope that um, you enjoy it. And don't judge my painting skills too harshly. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for taking the time. Super excited that we raised money today for the Know Your Rights camp, which will be very empowering and hopefully contribute in an awesome way. So take care, everybody. Goodbye. I'll see you on Tuesday and I'll be playing Subnautica then. So I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.